Hi everyone, it's Tarot Day again! Where did the last week go? Oh my god, I hope that you've all had a lovely, lovely week. Um, I hope that you've been spreading the positivity and those great vibes to everybody that you know. Okay, let's get down to business. I have a new technique that I'm going to incorporate today. Yay! So not only have I got my own tarot cards already primed, cleansed and connected, not only have I got the beautiful cards by Louise Benton, if you want to go check out her website, it'll be below in the comment, I'm um, in the description if you do want to go and order any cards or any other things that um, Louise has got. Okay, oh my hair's gone crazy today, all the humidity. And I've also got my lovely little cards, the love cards. Every card starts with the word love and we've got our little beautiful little doves on there. But today, I got a Christmas present, and it is, <laughs> comes with a story, guys. Okay, a few weeks ago, I went down to the coast with a lovely friend of mine, and as we're walking along the beach, she's picking up all these little pebbles on the on the shoreline um, in the sand, and I asked her, what are you doing? Are you just collecting all these rocks to fill your pockets? She said, no, I'm going to create a ruin set. So what she's done, the little witch. <laughs> yeah, she is. And I sound like Motley out of that um, car racing show from the 60s. If you know what I'm talking about, Motley. <laughs> the little mutt. <laughs> she's created a pack of ruins for me. So every car, every stone has got the ruin sets on it. So not only has she given me the stones, but she's also given me this beautiful leaflet with all the ruins inside, what they mean, and also how to do your spreads, etc. on the back. So <laughs> how grateful do you think I am first? Hello, love presents. But today I've got my deck, I've got Louise's deck, I've got my little, whoops, upside down, dovey deck. <laughs> I'm just going to call that the dovey deck, you know, like the lovey deck. And I've also now got my ruin stones. <laughs> so I've been holding these all day yesterday, connecting and sending them love and mm, please use the universal energies to connect with me so I get a card um, a stone that represents what the universe wants me to tell others okay so my girl is on deck hello good morning oh, oh, yeah no time where she exists she doesn't understand um, morning um, but she's here she, and she's waiting for the answer to the question to give me so today I have everything planned so let's just pause and what I do when I pause, I imagine the world, the whole globe with all the oceans, all the lands, all the clouds. <sighs> South Pole, North Pole. And I watch it rotating in front of me. And then I think about every living creature or entity on this, on this land, this orbiting piece of rock, because that's what Earth is, right? And I just think about everything. And I throw out the question to the universe. What is it that we need to hear for the next week? What is our message that we need to know for the next week? So now that I put that question out there, it makes it as an intention. So today's tarot deck that I'm going to do, and the ruins, are from today, the 26th of December through till the 1st of January. Now, isn't this going to be great? Because my tarot next week, I'm going to do it not just for the week, but for the whole year as well. Okay, so wait, there's more. Because today, I'm also going to do something else. I'll give you all a little hint. 
Who knows what this is? Do you know what this goes with? It's not to just hit me over the head when I make boo-boos. <laughs> Linda, have that wake-up call. Bang! That's not for those epiphany moments. Bang! <laughs> okay, it comes with this guy. This is my drum, guys. Um, there's a bead in the back so I can hold it so I don't actually um, touch the actual skin. Now, this is an American deer hide. Okay, I actually got this from my lovely, lovely friend Sue. Okay, so I just want to play this a little bit first to let the vibration go through my microphone. So my microphone is just here. So I want you guys to just listen to this. hope you understand that turn your speakers on and let that vibration come through your speakers okay because if you have your speaker right next to your head it'll go straight through you okay I've done it before with my tuning forks etc so I am going to do a video where I'm just using all my noise makers because I've got tinchy bells I've got the 528 Hertz tuning fork and now I've got this guy well, I've had this guy for a few months, but hello, it's been private and only for my personal use because I'm trying to learn how to make the different sounds out of it. Because obviously it's deer hide, so I'll show it to you again. Isn't that just an amazing, amazing piece of um, medical equipment? Because this is medical equipment, guys. You know, the vibration, you do the vibration and it ripples through us. So first of all, before I do the tarot, I want us all in the place where the cards that I and the ro and the ruins that I get today, because I'm going to use those as well. So I just basically want us to clear ourselves first because the energy this week has been going nuts, correct? So let me just do a little couple of minutes of this through us, the vibration of this um, drum, okay? Close your eyes. Sit there quietly. Clear your mind. Clear your mind. Now, if you've seen that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where he goes to Mars and he finds the psychic and the guy says to him, just clear your mind. How do we do that? <laughs> Quite easy, because it means do not think. Let those thoughts go away. Every time you think, oh my God, I've got to go get off here and wash, do the washing, I've got to clean out the car, I've got to go and see my friends, I've got to make lunch or dinner. Take those thoughts away and just don't think for a couple of minutes while I do this, okay? Because it's imperative today because we've just had a huge energy shift and um, we're coming up to the last week of 2021. So let's just clear our minds and just let this resignation of the drum come through you.
hope you all heard that. I won't hear it until I play it back later. Okay, so that's my drum. Okay, so I'm going to do a drumming with my tinching bells and also my 528 hertz. And I'm going to also, in that video, so please watch that one, I'll call it how, um, I don't know, because it's going to be drums, tinchy bells. Um, I might just call it how noisemakers create vibration. There you go. That's it. And I'll just write that one down quickly so I remember it. So I'm telling it now. How noisemakers <clears throat> make vibration. There you go. Okay. And I'm going to put the word healing in there as well. Because that vibration that goes through us is actually healing. It's aligning us to the frequencies of the universe. Okay. Which is what I do before I do my tarot's. So when I talk to her, I get clear messages because I'm more tuned into her frequency. Okay. Now she's telling me today to go with the little doves. Little doves first. She just showed me a little dovey. All right. So what I'm going to do is I've already connected with my cards. I love my cards. Okay. So today the question as usual is we need a message for the whole world for the coming week. 26th of December until the 1st of January 2022. Um, a message that we all need. So now I'm just going to shuffle my cards. Throw me out one card for that intention of a, a message that the whole world needs for the next week. Something that we can incorporate into our lives. Something that we may not be doing. Something that we may be needing to work on. Or it may be something that we have to release and let go of to allow other opportunities to come in. Yes. Okay, so there are a lot of different um, um, ways of interpreting what the cards represent today. Okay, so it's just imper. Oh, did you see that one just pop out? So I'll get rid of these guys first. Oh, wow, what a great one for today. So I've got my card. Okay, whoops. Okay, now she's saying go with Louise's cards. So now I've got the lovely Louise's cards. If you do want to go and um, purchase one of her packs, this is the website to go to. And it is in the description below, okay? So I'll take that one off. That is her beautiful artwork that she has on there. Um, all the cards have her artwork on there. They're all personally designed by her, okay? And as you know, if you've been watching my tarots, then you'll know that um, the beautiful words that I read out are actually all created by Louise. Oh, and I've already got my card. There it is. Oh my God, how gorgeous is that card for today? All right, so let me just put these ones over here as well. Okay, so I've already got two out of the three. Now, start again. One card left out of my tarot pack. Okay, thank you so much. And we've got to just remember the intention which is that thought that I'm putting out there for today well we need a card for the next week from the 26th of December through till the 1st of January 2022 a card that we need is a message if there's anything that the universe oh my god I've already got that one for today as well how easy is this one today wow here's my card oh interesting so let me just get rid of my deck put that over there okay so I've got one card here I've got Louise's card. Look at the beautiful. I think we've had this one before. Okay. But it's all good because we need it again. And I've now got this one. Okay. So I've got my three cards. And now one of the ways that we can do our ruins as per the guide. It says. I'll just go to the way to do it. So you know that I'm. I never call myself a master of anything. Okay. Because I know a lot about a lot of stuff. So the one ruin spread is when you simply reach into the draw bag and you pull one ruin out of the pouch or bag. Okay? So we focus our mind on the particular question. Okay? And then draw a ruin from the bag first thing each morning to provide guidance. Okay? Now, before I go into this, I just want to read out this ruling on um, this morning with ruins. If you do have ruins or you want to start using ruins yourself, okay? Using ruins as ruins as a divination tool, okay? 
Ruins are different to tarot cards and other common formalities of div divination. Ruins do not foretell the future. The philosophy around using ruins is based on the following premise. As you give thought to a question or contemplate a specific issue, you focus your mind completely on that question. The ruins that are selected, spread or cast by you at this time, are not completely random. Rather, they are selections made by your subconscious mind to assist with the issue at hand. Using ruins for divination is not about seeing the future or obtaining definite answers. It is about looking for positive causes and effects and seeing potential outcomes. Okay? So it may indicate potential paths that we choose to follow. But just remember, guys, it's not about fortune telling with the ruins. Okay? Yep. Um, I'm not sure where this leaflet is available from but i know that it's got an isbn on the back so you can buy this it's actually called the ruins guide and i'll just quickly show it to you again it, so it opens up into four pages it's got all the ruins inside it um there's the front cover and whoops here's the back cover with all the ways of doing your spreads okay all right so the question at hand is are you ready All I, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand into the pouch until I get one that lands on my hand, okay? Like there, I've got one, but I haven't done it yet, okay? So, imagine the world again with all the oceans, the lands, the clouds. Imagine that you're like Google Earth looking at the Earth from far, far, far off in the distance, up maybe near the moon. And it's just one word of message that the universe needs right now to send us all. Something that we can incorporate with the other three cards that I've got. So all I'm going to do is I'm still thinking about the question at hand, which is my intention. And I just go through until there's only one left in my hand. Oh, it's that one. Yep, it's that one. So now I have my ruin. Aren't these gorgeous? I helped Sally pick these up on the beach and the little witch said that they were for her. And she gave them to me for Christmas. Gosh, she's a little... She needs a cuddle desperately. I may see her today, later, so yes. Okay, so now that I've got this... Okay, I've just got to look through here and I find which one it is. Because there's a couple of different ones that look like peas, but I found it. It's actually that one. Okay, so I know now which one I've got. <clears throat> okay, so let's start. Now, the first card that I did today was the little one, right? It was the little one. <clears throat> this card says, Love would trust in the angels to guide their pathway. So this speaks about hope. This speaks about believing. This card um, teaches us to trust in what they know. Okay, the angels know everything from the beginning of time right through to the earth's destruction. They know our lives from birth till death. They know what's best for us in our paths, right? So every day we think, why the hell did that happen to me? And then three years later, we think, wow, thank God that happened. You know, thank God I didn't see that perspective back then, but I see it now. So this is saying love would trust in the angels to guide their pathway. So if things aren't going accordance to your lives at this point, just remember that there is a plan. There is somewhere that, you know, it may take another 5, 10, 20, 30, 50 years for you to understand why the things happening now are occurring. Okay, we're too blinded. As that saying says, you can't see the forest for the trees. Okay, so this one just says to trust in the angels and to for them, they will guide our pathway. Okay. So that was our first card. So I'm just going to put that there. Now I've got the Divinity card from Louise's pack. I'll turn it around if you do want to pause the screen. So you can read it, write it down or whatever you want to do. It's the Divinity card. Let me just read this one out. In eternity's womb there is a space suspended in a time and place. A realm of pure potential born. Merging spirit with manifest form. So eternity, 
Eternity's womb means things come, things go, correct? There is a space suspended in time and place, a realm of pure potential born. We're all born with potential. Um, a realm means our existence. So there's an existence of pure potential born. So we're all born with all these possibilities of everything that can come good in our lives, correct? Merging spirit with manifest form. So once the spirit enters the unborn child and we are birthed by a mother, we're manifested into this physical being of a human being. Out of swirling misty darkness came, well, I call that the earth, um, the birth canal, first light from the primordial flame. The first ethereal emanations created the vessels for incarnation. Imbued with soul, each life was blessed, a myriad of forms expressed, a reflection of divinity, beauty, grace and majesty. So we have heaven within us when we're born, correct? Because we've just come back from there when we reincarnated. An experience of individualization. So when we're born, we all get our own characteristics, our own beliefs, our own um, societal inflictions are put upon us okay enveloped in sensual intoxication because we are intoxicated by this life because we don't see where we're from in that eternal heavenly it um entity um universal energies okay ecstasy and pain combined well there's those those highs and lows of our lives through du duality our souls div refined a world of malleable real reality a testing ground to awaken and see now a testing ground this is a testing ground where we are guys just remember that we all have um, life paths we all have life lessons okay and how do we ever learn a lesson unless we're tested so consider all the tests that are coming to you this past week and into this next week um, you'll be tested for your own integrity You'll be tested for your own values and your own morals. You'll be tested for how much um, boundaries you put on your own existence. Do you allow others to walk all over you or are you the one who sets the rules and says no more, don't do that anymore? Okay. Beyond the veils of separation. So there is that veil of separation between our eternity of heaven and where we are now. Okay. In this three dimensional world. The spirit of creation embodiment of the creator's dream so we are born in god's image correct invoking the most beautiful vision ever seen to feel the true sacredness of earth and cherish all things as new world was birthed what a great message for christmas hey okay cherish everything cherish everything and the last line says i dream the new world into being so what this is actually telling me, guys, we've come from heaven. We've come from unconditional love, bliss, utopia. We've come from that absolute freedom of being. Because it is our being. Our soul is our being, correct? So get back in tune with that this is what the earth is telling us now through the divinity card from louise benton i love her artwork she creates all these um i dream the new world into being this is our chance to start manifesting all the things that we do want now just remember it's not just for you in your own life i want a better job i want to get a better house i want more children i want better clothes or a better car I want this, I want that. Don't be that selfish. Think about everybody on the planet. What do you personally want to gift every single person on the planet? Okay? Straight away, I just got Bob Geldof's song in my head. It's Christmas time. Let's say a prayer for the forgotten ones. How many forgotten ones are out there right now? who are struggling daily without this stuff from the COVID? How many people are out there who haven't got lives as best as yours has? So put it into perspective, guys, okay? 
think of everybody on this planet and what would your gift be if you could give them one thing today you know you look at beauty queens every day when they're doing their beauty pageants what do they all wish for world peace peace on earth okay now we go to the tarot let me just get out my book because i don't like um, saying things without going back to my book so today i've drawn the five of wands five of wands let me just find it in my book five of wands where are you swords cups wands so what have i got the five of wands okay the five of wands represents conflicts differences of opinions and petty squabbling now isn't that funny because yesterday i just did that video on stress um you know this is the time when we have obligations we um we find out who controls who right that's why i did that video yesterday go watch that one because if you get stressed over christmas that's a great one to watch hello we get stressed any point of the year so you can watch it again and again and again if this situation emerges around you try not to become involved and as i said yesterday in my video sometimes just simply say thanks but no thanks and walk away knowing that you've set that boundary okay don't be tempted to add flames to the fire you know people will um, freely comment their opinions they have their own perspective of situations okay um if you can play the diplomat you will find yourself quite popular with colleagues at a later date okay so sometimes it is best to stay quiet but it doesn't mean that we can't think and create and manifest our intentions okay so always use your mind for positive things if you need receptivity then now is not the time to present your latest great ideas to others okay so you don't have to be receptive to everybody else and let them know what you're thinking you don't have to go out of your way to comment on other people's posts you don't have to say oh my god and gossip you know oh my god look what this person's done keep all your opinions to yourself because what these cards are showing us today is that it's our intentions our thoughts that is actually creating what's going on at this point everything in this war is spiritual it is a spiritual war that we're going through okay angry people are getting angrier happy and loving people are getting more kind and generous have you noticed that okay because there is that great divide now angry as opposed to those who are loving okay i know what side of the fence i'm on okay um keep it in your drawer for another day when the energy is more conductive okay so that's what the five of wands is stipulating here for us within this um collective reading that i'm doing today so now we go to the little ruin now we are, i did pull him out with the p on the top so i'm just going to go to my p ruin now it reads and i'm just going to fold this over okay so this is the winning the happiness ruin the symbol of inner personal happiness inner personal isn't this what the cards are saying today to talk about our inner health making ourselves manifest what we want so how appropriate is it to have this ruin today and i'm just going to hold him up oops it's only a little stone there he goes oh he's upside down don't put him upside down Linda. there he is it's just a little p one okay so this one says also joy and contentment from career personal and or family life so this means good things are coming and the way that we create good things coming is to think about the good in others think about the good in your job think about the good in your car think about the good in your animals think about the good in your family your friends your neighbors your co-workers the places that you go for um, entertainment purposes think about the good don't hold on to the bad because that's how we create grudges okay so when this ruin is face up a signal to pursue inner peace and joy through self-care my god i said self-care in my video yesterday how funny is that 
steer away from tendency to rely on others. I said that in my video yesterday as well. My God, ask what makes you happy and fulfilled. This is within your grasp through manifesting it. Remember, try and think about who was I before I was born? Where was I? We all have that preconceived notion of what heaven is. So go out there and create this. What is heaven? Would heaven have me bickering about other people? Would heaven have me commenting and um, spewing bad negative things about others? Would, would heaven want me to hold on to a grudge about what somebody did three months ago? Oh, I don't want to see that person at Christmas because of that event three, three years ago. Don't do that, guys. Allow and don't judge. It's the two messages there that I tell everybody. And the last one says, a problem may be about to be successfully resolved. It's actually called the joy card. There it is. So I'm just going to hold this up on the screen so you can just have a look at that one. So there's my ruin for today. This one here. And I'll show him to you so you can see that that's him. There it is, so if you do want to have a read of him. Okay. Okay. So, what did you think of that one? Please comment below if these cards have been important for you for the coming week. Let me know next week, you know, um, how it goes. Um, if you do have a concern or an issue that you think um, it's imperative for other people who may be going through the same similar things, Comment below and say, hey, Linda, next week, can you talk about this or can you do a video about this? My video yesterday was called Stress, How Stress Increases at Christmas. And it is so imperative. Obviously, you know, she tells me when to do my videos. Now I understand why she wanted me to do that yesterday because there's so much of that video that comes into what I've just gotten out from the cards today. Okay, so guys, I hope that this has filled you with the love um, trust the angels. Trust the angels. There you go. Trust in the angels. Because they know what's coming. They know what's been. Because for them, everything is now in the present. So concentrate on what you personally want. Do you want lockdowns? Do you want mandates? Do you want isolation? Or do you want freedom? Do you want to be able to conduct your life in the way that you feel that you deserve to be? This world is going through a spiritual world, um, a war. You know, um, Gil Bates, if you know who I'm talking about there, change around the initials. Gil Bates did a video in 2005 where he actually did say spiritual people are the threat. We're the radicals. And he wants to eliminate them through a, you know. So please observe and be aware of how other people are acting. Are they getting angrier or are they getting nicer during this process of what's going on? Because those are our true colors. The more we amplified now, whether it's from the proton belt that we're, Earth is presently passing through, Go research it. What is the proton belt? Proton belt is amplifying all our energies. So nasty people are getting nastier. Nicer people are getting more loving and kind and generous. So have a look around and see who is um, in your tribe. Which side of the fence are you on? And I hope that you say that you want to be on the same side as me. So until I do my next one, I'll do another one. The Noisemaker video with my drum. I'll get out my tinchy bells because we all need some calmness, correct? So stay tuned for that one in the next few days. Until then, guys, much love and light to everybody. Talk to you all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.